everybody and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. It has been a minute since I was last on YouTube so I'm really happy to be standing back here again and making some content for you guys. And I thought what better way to start that than to do a video that has been requested so much since I started YouTube nearly two years ago. Better late than never. But that is by giving you guys a tour of my living room. If you're new to my channel then my name is Ash and I'm a mum of two from Glasgow in Scotland and I live at home here with my husband Fraser. We moved into this house in I think it was November 2013 so we've been here for five years this year and there hasn't been a room in this house that we haven't touched. Honestly we have renovated every room from looking a bit old fashioned and really dark to kind of modernising it and putting our own twist on it. So I thought I would show you my living room. I've already done tours on my son Charlie's room. He has an attic converted nursery and I've also given a tour of my kitchen. So I will link those ones below but we are going to do this today because if I don't do it now I might not get the chance to because we've recently sold our house and we move out the end of August and we're moving into a new build home in October. So that's all kind of going on just now. So if you're not already subscribed and you like things like moving vlogs and you like to see interior updates and decoration videos and home hauls then yeah definitely click subscribe because that's all coming very soon to my channel and I don't want you to miss it so I would love to have you as a viewer if you click subscribe and stick along and if you do then let me know in the comments too. I'd like to see who you guys are and get chatting in the comments. So yeah bit of background on this room. This used to be a very dark room and we don't have a massive living room here so I've kind of had to make the most of it. We've done some adjustments but I'm going to go ahead and show you that just now and get jumping right into the video. So this here is just an overview of our living room. It is very comfortable, very cosy and it's not huge. Now down here at the bottom of the room right here used to be a door but I'm also standing in another doorway just now. So we decided it'd be a bit crazy to have two doors leading into one small room because we already have a set of French doors at the back as well. So it was just like doors, doors, doors everywhere and we were really struggling to put furniture in. So what we did is we actually blocked up this door right behind me by this lamp. The door right there just seemed so unnecessary. So what we did is we just blocked it up using like boards and our plasterer came in and plastered it all and then we obviously painted it and papered it and in the hallway we now have a full hall so it's really good but it also means that we can put in our new suite so we decided to go for a corner sofa I just feel like this is just the best use of this space just now so this big huge corner sofa that we got is from Sofa Works but I think they've changed their name that many times now I'm not quite sure what they're called anymore but this is from Sofa Works and it was the perfect size for this space if we didn't have that door blocked up we were really struggling for kind of like traffic direction and we didn't know how people were going to get into the room by opening the door and having furniture behind it so yes we just decided to move that door and instead we have the entrance point right here so this is our door from our living room and that goes from our kitchen which is a bit unorthodox into this room here. Yes, so blocking up that door definitely gave us more scope to put in furniture and that's why we opted to use this big corner sofa which fits in absolutely perfectly. It is a two corner two if anyone wants to know, you can see that in the video anyway but this is from Sofa Works and it was quite expensive but we did do the 0% interest on it and paid it up each month which definitely made a difference and we also have the matching footstool which is a must honestly. That holds so many of our items like kids nappies, even things like wipes, it's got some TV remotes, gaming remotes, DVDs, everything, you name it, it is in there. So yes, definitely having a matching footstool or a storage footstool is a must for us. On my sofa I've got a gorgeous selection of cushions. These big fluffy ones at the back here are from Matalan and I think they were £15 each but I got them on sale as well which was great. These ones here are actually from Asda. Asda Homeware is actually amazing if you've not been in before. I would definitely have a little look when you're next in having a shop because it's got some hidden gems in there and even online is really fab as well. I have the matching setup over here in this corner so we have like the exact same setup with the fluffy cushion and then the ribbed cushion. And then in this little corner I've got two big cushions at the back which are also from Matalan. So these ones here at the back are Matalan and they are ribbed in the front and suede in the back but I prefer the ribbed one at the front to face outwards. My little ones here with the sort of like, I'm not sure what that is, is it a cotton plant? I think it's a cotton plant. 
those are from NYX and also the one at the front is also from NYX and because we do love a snuggle at night we always have a throw rolled up in the corner there to just access easily plus my kids just love sitting watching TV with a throw no matter what time of day it is so that is up there for anyone who wants to use it and we've also got this big overarching lamp which was from NYX now we've seen this in Dwell and it was about £400 so luckily NYX had a very similar one and we went for that and we also got it on a sale because it was the last one it was an X display so we managed to get like a really good discount on it which was fab I just loved the fact that this kind of adds something into this corner and makes it look a bit more homely I honestly get so many questions asking me where my wallpaper is from I can't even take credit for it because Fraser was the one who picked it and it's like a kind of twig design I just love it because it's a vinyl paper and they wash really easily so if anything splashes on it like kids food or just anything generally goes on the wall it wipes off so easily but it's from being cute and I think it's also from the Graham and Brown range which I'm not sure if that's part of being cute or if they're their own independent brand but the Graham and Brown wallpaper is amazing we've got it everywhere in the house so I definitely would recommend that brand if you're looking for a wallpaper this one here is just the perfect colour for our living room because the twig colour is the exact same colour as the other wallpaper on the other wall so I'll show you that in a second but yeah this wallpaper is definitely one of my favourite things about this room I just feel like it adds that kind of like show home element to it not that I'm saying the house looks like a show home but it definitely adds a bit of class to it and I just really like the way that it looks but this is the wallpaper here and we obviously carried this across the full wall I just think it looks really fab and up close you'll see that it has a texture to it which just definitely makes it look a bit more expensive. The wallpaper then carries on by the door and over here to our mirror area and this mirror here is from the Mirror Outlet Company online. I will link it for you. Trying to find a mirror that looks as good as this that is not an absolute fortune was so difficult but yeah definitely recommend that company and that will be going with us when we move. And over here I've also got a radiator cover. Radiator covers are such a good way to basically add a bit of furniture into your house without spending a fortune. I think this was about £35. Genuinely it was really cheap so we've basically made like a unit here and we're using it as like a display shelf. So over here I've got a photo of Fraser and I from our wedding day, I've got a couple of candles and then also this little tray that houses our flowers as well. I actually believe this is a smoker's tray which is a kind of old fashioned thing but this is from TK Maxx and inside it I've got things like our hive box. We don't have this mounted in the wall, I just thought it'd be nice to have it out and about. We don't have a sand or anywhere to put it so we just pop it in here. Along with things like our Amazon Fire Stick remote. I also have a little lipstick in there just because I was using this before I started filming. My phone's sitting up here as well and then I also have a couple of candles and my little diffuser here which is from NYX and it's the Hamptons fragrance and it smells incredible. This little flower arrangement here I actually made and I got all the bits from Country Baskets so I think that this little cube mirrored vase was about five or six pounds it was very very cheap and these here you probably can't see on camera but they're actually foam so they're not like real <laughs> real artificial flowers they're foam artificial flowers so these were very very cheap and I actually think that they use these for crafting but I thought why not just use these for an arrangement in the house because they look really nice and you do see things like this in show homes so that's the kind of look that I go for and I think it looks really good. Right beside the mirror we have the absolute bane of my life and it is these double doors doors oh my goodness they require so much cleaning and I just can't keep up with them just because the kids are so young still they always go over and leave the big dirty fingerprints all over it and yeah I mean what can you do it's just one of those things I really wish that these veins were internal because it would mean that I could actually just clean the whole glass pane but having to do those individual panes is a pain they are aptly named over here you can get a really nice look at the coven that we went for we actually could have gone for a bigger one and sometimes I wish that we did because I think Coven really adds a nice feature to any room. It just really finishes off the ceiling to the wall, especially because houses don't normally have a true running line. <laughs> a lot of things are a bit squint and this just does add that kind of sense of symmetry and as if everything is in line. These doors, as much as I can't stand them, do definitely bring in a lot of light from our extension and these used to be mahogany. So we had to bring them back, buff them up and also paint them which was a nightmare. We really should have just replaced them but we couldn't afford to so we thought just make the best of them and we painted them instead. 
We also replaced the handles as well to these silver ones and it just makes it look a bit more modern. In this little corner here I've got a standing lamp and it's from NYX but I did replace that shade because the other one did not match. It was a really dark grey colour. So this one is from b and And just behind me we probably have one of the things I am asked about most and that is my family gallery wall. That is honestly my pride and joy. Every day I love coming down and looking at all the pictures and we also update them regularly which is nice. And I've pulled them all down to black and white but I don't want to go on too much about that because I've done a whole video on it. So if you do want to check that out it will be listed below. We're just giving you tips and advice on how to make a family gallery wall. So a lot of our frames are from bargain stores and the mirrored ones are from home bargains. These ones are from Matalan and the ones up at the top are from Ikea. I've also got little ones here like this picture of Charlie and I here. That is actually a plastic frame and it's from Poundland but I just sprayed it silver to make it look a bit more modern and a bit more expensive. But yeah I just love this gallery wall. It's so nice to have all the family involved in our living room. This here is our newest piece of furniture and it is a low board unit from Dwell. We got this on sale and I'm pretty sure we got about £200 off it. It was still expensive but it was exactly what I was looking for and I was desperate to get something so I just thought go for it just now, especially when it's on sale and I absolutely love it. It is a high gloss unit but it is also a TV cabinet so you really could just pop your TV right here in the middle instead of using it as a kind of storage slash unit to put decoration on. It's high gloss and it's got like a beveled corner which I just thought was perfect for the kids. It's really super safe and I'm sure if they bump their head on the side of it it's definitely not going to do much damage just because it's not got the pointed corners which was really important for me and the colour was just perfect to match in with this room. This taupe colour is exactly the shade I was looking for so I was so pleased to find it. And besides from it being absolutely gorgeous it holds things in it like our Sonos box. We are a family who love music so we like to put on some music in the living room and dance around so that's why we have our Sonos in there. And in here it houses all of the kids toys for the living room and believe me we have to clear this out quite often because it just gathers so much stuff. So we have some toys in there, some building blocks, some books and just some general bits and pieces. So we'll just close that over and pretend that the chaos is not happening. These flowers here are an assortment from Danelle Mill. I absolutely love their flower selection. They have so many to choose from. So many shades, so many different types and I think they look fantastic. So yes, I have a whole different bunch here and they cost about £30 all in which does seem pricey but I was actually buying real flowers on a weekly basis and I'm saving so much money now so that's definitely a win to get better flowers for the artificial range. This vase here is also from Danelle Mill, not sure if they've still got it, it was back in January I think so yeah pretty sure that will not be in there anymore but if it is it will be linked in the description box below. This little squirrel who's been named Salad by my daughter Ella, um, that is from Danelle Mill as well and I really like it just because it ties in the colours. And this little guy here is from Poundland. So random that we've got two little animals in here but yeah, it's just like having my kids, isn't it? This here is an oldie but a goodie from Matalan. I got this about four years ago and I like to put little tea light candles in it. It's just really pretty and the colours just tie in very nicely in this little corner of the unit. Over here I've got this little slate plate which was about £2 from Danelle Mill and on it I have a room spray. This one here is the Amber Noir room spray from good old Primark. It is such a lovely fragrance and it smells like a Jo Malone type of scent. It's a really nice one so I have got that sitting there and as you can see we do like to use it. I've got a couple of artificial plants here as well. This little one here is from Primark and I think it was about £4 and this one here was from Darnell Mill and it was £5. This lamp here is also from Danelle Mill. I love it. It's still online anyway, so I will link it for you if I can find it. And I just love it. It's such a lovely, nice champagne colour. It gives off good light. I'm pretty sure these were about £26, which I'm really considering buying from the new house. I think in the bedroom, these would be gorgeous either side of your bed. So yeah, love these. This is actually an outdoor lantern and I got it as a present but I've just kind of sat it here just now because I think it's too nice to go outside. It was from my friend's mum so I'm going to just keep it here but I'm actually planning on putting a candle inside it. The one thing I'm not looking forward to leaving when we move is my fire. This is my baby, I absolutely adore it. And it was one thing that before Fraser and I even found a house to buy, we said we wanted to put one of these in and we managed to find one and we've got it in and we love it and we don't want to leave it but unfortunately 
that's just one of these things. So yes, we love our fire. This is an integrated open fire and it's surrounded in granite. This wall here has actually been built out to house this because it was actually about this much smaller before but we had to build this out and what we've done to get the TV on the wall is we've actually made like a channel that goes down this wall, down the corner and then down here and as you will see at the bottom that's where the wires come out so it's just a really clever way of putting the TV on the wall so you don't have to actually dig into the plaster work, you can just build it out and use boards instead. So that is what we did. It also means if we want to change our TV, all we would have to do is attach the new HDMI cables and things to the old one at the bottom and then just pull it through. And that way we can just like pull the cables through behind this TV screen and plug in a new TV. It's so easy to do. As much as this was easy to do, it was a big project. It was straightforward, but it did take a long time to get it looking perfect. And we've also papered it. So this paper here is the one that perfectly matches the twigs on the other paper. And it's also got a grain. And I thought this looked really nice because it's twigs behind us. I feel like this looks like bark from a tree. So I'm just trying to make things tie in really nicely. And it also has a little tiny, tiny glimmer through it of glitter, which I think is really pretty. I'm not 100% sure what size that TV is. Something makes me want to say that it's 55 or 60, but I like the fact that it fills up most of the wall, but it's still smaller than the fire slightly. It just kind of flows a bit better that size. So yeah, I love this. To operate our fire, you can either use the little remote control that it comes with or you can use this button down here, which is also child safe. No one can use that unless they press like several buttons at one time. So just down here, you've got the little kind of remote that's on the wall. But generally, we just use the remote. On this section over here, I have got something that's not really finished, to be honest, but it's just a couple of floating shelves. I've got this stag's head in the middle, which is from NYX. And my mom got it for us about three or four years ago, and I love it. I think it looks really nice in the middle and kind of adds to the unintentional woodland theme that we kind of have going on in here. But yeah, I've got a couple of things that are just sitting sort of photographs. But in all honesty, these ones are kind of ones that we never really had a place for on the wall which I wanted to incorporate, but I wanted to give them their own space. So we have these ones here, and this picture is a new one, but I'm going to get it done in black and white, and I love it. It's a picture of my nana and granda. Unfortunately, the reason why I've not been on YouTube recently is because we lost my nana, and it's still very sore, and there's been a lot going on. So yeah, we need to get this nice picture, which I took of them last new year, and I really love it, but I want it in black and white, so it matches in with all the rest of them, and I love this frame. My mom bought me this, um, the other day so yes I really really like that and it's a lovely reminder to have over we've got one of our over on the big wall but we've got this one here as well these frames again are from places like Ikea Home Bargains and we've got a couple that are from Matalan I think this one's from Zara Home as well and I've also got these little lights around here which I've not put on recently because we need to get new batteries on them but see when they're on it's such a magical corner because all the pictures have like a little bit of light on them so it's really really pretty over by the window I've got some curtains and a curtain pole and they are from NYX. I really like them. It's just very very plain and simple and these are a suede effect which just again look a bit more expensive than just regular material curtains. They're nice and heavy and I just think curtains add so much glamour to a room so it's definitely something I'm going to continue doing in our new house. And as you can see, we've got a roller blind. I really do love a roller blind. I never used to, but I love that the fact that it's either bringing in lots of light to the living room or it's completely shut. It's just a nice way to have the living room look. And I think that that with the curtains just looks gorgeous together. On my window ledge, I've got this artificial, believe it or not, orchid and it's from NYX and it was about £50 which again seems crazy expensive but you've got that for life and it has got real touch petals so when you do touch it it feels like they are a real live living orchid plant so it's like a mirrored pot and I just think this was such a good piece to invest in. I love orchids but I can't stand the fact that they always die on me. So yeah, I really love having this on our windowsill. And I think that's it. I think that is the tour of my living room complete. What do you guys think? Do you like it? Is there anything you would want to know about why I've chosen colours and things? Please do let me know in the comments and if you are new, please subscribe too. I'm also over on Instagram and I do daily Insta stories as well as the new IGTV channel. I've got it all going on over there so make sure you come and follow me over there. All the links to that stuff are in the description box below or you can just search for Mama Read on Instagram and you'll find me over there. I've also got a home account over there as well, Mama Read Home. Yes, plug, 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 plug. Go and check me out on all my social guys. It was really nice 
organised in this video for you today and I'd love you to give me some tips or places to go to, where's good to go for new interior stuff for the new house, please let me know in the comments and I will see you all very very soon. Thanks for watching, bye bye!